around the clock happening now through the rest of this week. The Bardathon takes place today in Viroqua and the rest of the week at the Pump House in La Crosse. There's also a virtual option that you can tune into. And joining us this morning from Bardathon, we have Bruce and Colin here. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good day. It is a great morning for you to be here Wednesday morning. We're talking about the Bardathon. So, what's the inspiration behind this event? I took a trip on a bus one time, and and I took uh, a copy of the Riverside, the complete works, with me. And on that trip, 30 days, I read all the plays. And I got back, and uh, a cohort said, "Well, I want to read all the plays. Maybe everybody wants to read all the plays. Why don't we do a Bardathon?" And so that's how we did it in Fairbanks, Alaska. We did it then from there here in La Crosse three times years ago. And now uh, a lady, Rose, in Viroqua has taken it up. And so we're starting another Bardathon. She did one last year from Viroqua. And this year we're doing it from La Crosse, half of it. Yeah, we've got a partnership uh, between the Pump House Regional Arts Center and the Commons uh, out in Viroqua which is a community out art space out in Viroqua. Um, and so this is kind of like this, this uh, thing for everybody to be able to come. It's a free event, right? And you get a chance to come and hear these words out loud, right? Which is kind of what it's meant to be, right? Is what we're meant to do is, is here. And understand Shakespeare yeah. better than you have before because yeah. you're all in a room reading it out loud and something magical happens. You yeah. begin to understand the yeah. language and participate in it. It's also a great opportunity for folks who have never really been exposed to Shakespeare because, sure. I mean, maybe, you've, you know, missed, missed that chapter in class or skipped out on it in uh, elementary school I, I, I like this as an opportunity to see how Shakespeare thinks because he, he is one of the most unique in the world or for sure was one of the most unique in the world for sure yeah I mean it, what it what it allows you to do is to come and sit around and and you can participate by reading you can be cast as as a part sometimes we read round Robin it just kind of depends on how how many people are there for the particular read um, there's a schedule on the, on the website over at the pump house uh, dot org where you can find out uh, the list there uh, of when when everything's going on um, so there's kind of four hour blocks for each play um, and we read around the clock so there's plays starting even at 8 p.m., midnight, happening 4 a.m., happening now. They're just about to fire one up out in Viroqua at the Commons uh, this morning here at 8 um, for a read. Bruce himself is going to be heading out there tonight to uh, host some uh, some reads over overnight out there tonight. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a great event. And ultimately, like I said, free, open to everybody to come and uh, just hear and, and participate and listen um, and yeah. get some Shakespeare in. Yeah. No excuse to miss it because it's going on all this week 24-7. You don't want to miss Bruce. You don't want to miss Colin. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks, hey, for, thanks for having us. A lot.